is up on my dumpster peeps. I just got home from picking the girls up from cheer practice and I had to go pee. <laughs> so now we are headed to go meet Beth and check out these dumpsters. But there's a catch. I am so super excited. Hold on, I'm trying not to hit my mother-in-law's car. Okay, oh God, I'm going crooked. What am I doing? Hold on, I can't talk and back up at the same time, obviously. We got this. Anyway, so super exciting news, guys. We, as in you and I, Beth and I, all of us, we are going to hit up a new town tonight. One we have never been to. Here's the dealio with that. One of our amazing subscribers has said a few times in our lives that the Dollar Generals in her area are always overflowing with stuff. So we were like, hey, let's go check them. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead to that town first and see there's, I think, 11 Dollar Generals, two family dollars, I think a Michael's and a Joanne's. There might be a pharmacy or two, I'm not sure. I can't remember, but Beth looked everything up to see like what all was out that way. So hopefully we'll have some really, really good luck there. We'll see though. Today was the girls' last cheer practice. Super sad, but the boys they cheer for, which is called like Division Two, they are actually going to the Super Bowl. They won all of their, um, that called <laughs> you know they won all the games leading up the playoff games that's what I'm trying to say so they are going to the Super Bowl which is so super exciting the girls are so excited to cheer it'll be so much fun downfall is I gotta work Sunday and usually their games are like earlier in the day but this time it's later in the afternoon so I'm only gonna be able to watch for like an hour if that so that's no fun but Hopefully they win. Anywho, um, enough blabbing. I'm gonna go get to Beth and we are gonna head to this different town. We're getting off to a late start. Plus the town is like almost an hour away. So it's gonna be pretty late by the time we get there. But I figure, why not? You know what I mean? Like, let's try something new. Let's discover some new dumpsters together and see what goodies await us. So with that being said, Let's go do the dang thing. All right, guys, we are at our first dumpster, Dollar General. Let's go see what they got. Nothing but some trash. On to the next. All right, guys, we are at the next Dollar General. Let's see if there's anything good in this one. Dang it. We got like eight more to go. <laughs> Hopefully we find one that has something. All right, guys, we found this five below. Looks like a bunch of sunflower seeds and candy. Oh yeah. To get a bag, I forgot all my stuff, guys. I forgot my grabber, I forgot my bags, I forgot my stool. Forget everything. Thankfully, I do have some bags in here, though. Just caught my freaking butt on there. Piece of metal. We got Kit Kats. Hot tamales. Ubers. Of good candy. Sunflower seeds. That whole box is filled with good cars. I don't know what they are. Ooh, sour crunch. There are egg whites, almonds, cashews. There's RX bars. Don't look like too many people like them. <laughs> Whatchamacallit? Yep, I'm about that bag. Good old bag of candy. Heck's yeah. Oh 
My word, guys. We are at Big Lots. Wait till you see this. It's filled with brand new shoes. All right, let's get the big bag out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. I am so glad we came here. Look, doesn't say no trespassing anywhere on the dumpster. Ugh. Oh, this dumpster's disgusting. Putting my hand in something sticky as we speak. Oh, oh, that's gross. These are amazing, amazing. Brand new shoes. This is crazy, guys. Look at how cute these shoes are. My girls are gonna have so many cute pairs of seatbelts. Look at them baby shoes. Oh my god. All right, okay. That way I can use two hands. This is crazy, guys. Can you believe that? Like, it's just unbelievable to me. This blast like you're about to die. Oh no. Okay, I'll move as fast as I can. This is getting heavy. All right, here's what we'll do. Put this out. Got them? Mm -hmm. Unless you just want to throw them on the ground and we'll pick them up. Okay. It's easier that way. Holy cow, there's so many shoes. Who needs a new pair of shoes? Look at these little blue boxes. One bars. Oh, there with the flashlight. Do you see or do you need mine? Oh, I pretty much, I think I got them all. Okay. Get out. Holy cow, guys. I'm just gonna pick them up and start throwing them in the car. All right, guys, we are looking for a family dollar. Instead, we found a save a lot and we found some stuff. So, we got some little bites. Oh, I can stand on this too. We got some those. Here we go, put them in a box. There's chips back there too. There's that. We got some marshmallows. Some more marshmallows. Man, I wish I had my grabber. I'm gonna have to go in. Do you wanna hold that? Yep. Ugh. It's nice and soft. <laughs> got some sour cream and onion chips. I hope there's nothing I'm putting my butt on. Looking like it, other than bread and yeah, more bread. Oh, so gross! Get out of here. This is a dumpster. You need rain boots for. Not too shabby. Take it. All right, guys. We are out of the new town, and we are at Burlington. Oh God, I just blinded myself. It's all garbage. No, it's just. Tons of boxes. Glass. Oh, there's some stuff. Looks like, oh yeah, we got stuff. Yep, there's a bunch of candles right there. All right, we need to flip that lid up. I don't have anything to flip it up with. This one? Yeah. Unless you just want to hold it while I jump in. Yeah, I can do that. We're almost done, guys, because it's way too cold. Oh, I might even be able to reach them. What is this? Oh, those are the lids. Those are the big candles. They're huge. Is this one even broken? No. They're pretty. That one's broken. God dang my short arms. I 
That one too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just jump in. Oh, my foot's stuck. Okay. Right. Oh. Broken. Legs broken. Okay, good is it? Oh no, I just got the fuzzball going. And I'm falling down. Those are nice candles. They're really nice. I don't know what was supposed to be on the top, but yeah, there is definitely something that was supposed to be on the top. Alright, peeps, we are at the last dumpster. We are frozen. It is 32 degrees. This is a Dollar General. Flag sign holder. Looks like it's a bunch of uh, parts for in the store. multi-purpose cleaning sheets and some diamond some nasty chicken fried rice no vanilla that looks like it all right well this is what we got the only thing we got from a dollar general tonight but let's show you the ride because oh my gosh guys well you have to remember all those shoes most of them are in the bag so we got a huge bag of shoes plus all of these shoes plus the stuff from the grocery store the candles not a huge haul but when we get all them shoes out it's gonna be straight crazy so see y'all in the four did y'all see all the flipping shoes Holy cannolis. Beth and I went out to a brand bank in Newtown and I could not believe my eyes when we opened that Big Lots dumpster. I have never in my dumpster diving career seen that many pairs of shoes in one dumpster. Like if we added up every single pair of shoes that we found, it would be hundreds of dollars. Just saying. It's just straight crazy. Anyway, so that being said, let's dive in to everything Beth and I found at the dumpster. Let me just tell you guys really quick. In this town, there are $11 generals, two family dollars, which I think we only found one. Um, the big lots, five below, staples, which sadly, a lot of the dumpsters were empty, but we probably just went on the wrong day. So we are gonna try going back there on a different day. And I hope that we have a lot more luck, especially at the Dollar Generals. Cause we didn't find one thing in a Dollar General in that new town, not one thing. When we came back to the usual towns that we go to, we found a few items in the $1 General, but not very much, so. As you can see, we have so many pairs of shoes. It is straight insanity. Starting in the back, we have little girls section, which we have tons of adorable sandals, all different kinds and colors. We have princess, we have Minnie Mouse, we have a baby pair. We have one men's pair all the way in the back and then a couple pairs of little boys and one pair of little boys water shoes. The white sandals and pink sandals back, all of those sandals are $12 each. From the pink and all these floral sandals up are $16, except for these three pairs here. They are 12. That black pair is also 12. I mean, there are so many pairs of sandals here. It is so crazy. We have sizes from five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, two or three pairs that are size 10 or 11. These are nice sandals. It's not like these are crappy, cheap Dollar Tree sandals. They're, they're nice sandals. Beth said she's seen a sign that said they were 90% off, which would have made them so super cheap. So why they couldn't sell them, I don't know, but Thank goodness they couldn't because we saved them. Also in that dumpster, we were able to save three boxes of these one birthday cake protein bars. These were at Big Lots, $8 a box, and there's four bars in each box. So you know these would have been like $20 anywhere else, which is crazy. Sorry about my dog, but He's like having super separation anxiety. I don't know what his deal is lately, but he cannot stand to be without me. Like literally, he follows me into the bathroom, guys. <laughs> I have no privacy anymore. Anyway, we did find stuff at another dumpster in this town, which was five below. It wasn't a ton, but we got a bunch of good candy. So let me show you what we got. A whole, oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Let's get in the picture, Shannon. Okay, thanks. We got a whole box of these RX bars, but these aren't cheap, guys. These are super expensive. So that's a really good score. We got one, whatchamacallit, this instant coffee. It's called Death Wish Coffee Company, and it is supposedly strongest instant coffee there is. But I thought that was super cool. So there's that. Seven packages of the Kit Kat Duos. Five packages of the barbecue sunflower seeds. One package of sour cream and onion sunflower seeds, which I didn't even know they made that kind, let me just say. Two boxes of goobers. <laughs> Five boxes of hot tamales. And last but not least, one sour punch straws. Is that what they are, straws? Yeah, rainbow straws. Actually, almost all the dumpsters we went to were in that town that we had luck at, other than Big Lots and One Dollar General. So I guess it wasn't a bust. I mean, pretty much. I wish that the Staples would have had stuff in it, and I wish that the Dollar Generals would have had stuff, but I mean, you know. It was our first time there. We're still learning like the schedules and when they get dumped and all that. So anyway, then we stepped, stepped. No, we didn't step. We stopped. <laughs> I'm so tired. Then we stopped at a, I think it was, what, what's it called? Oh crap. What is that store called? Save a lot, save a lot. We stopped at a save a lot and we found a few things in their dumpster. Four bags of sour cream and onion chips, one box of the party cake muffins, little bites, and one box of chocolate chip, and two bags of jet puffed marshmallows. After that, we said, okay, we're not having any luck. Let's just head on back towards our way and see if we can find anything. And by this time, it was already 1130 and we were tired and freezing. The temperature dropped to 32 degrees and we were like, oh man, we were not dressed for it. I did not think it was gonna be that cold that night. But yeah, our tatas were frozen. We decided just to stop at a few more dumpsters, see what we could find. And we stopped at Burlington and wouldn't you know it, we found some awesome candles. Now, Hold your horses, because when I tell y'all what the price of these candles are, you're going to fall out your dang seat. At Burlington, these candles were $19.99. But if you didn't buy them at Burlington and actually bought them at the store they came from, $40 for a flipping candle. Can you even? I cannot. Is that not insanity? Who would, I mean, that's a big candle. Like look at it next to my big old head. But still, I would never spend $40 on a candle. I have a hard time spending 25 on a candle when it's from Bath and Body Works, which I love their candles. And the scent is sugar cookie. So we got three of these. So $60, well, actually that's $120 in candles. I would never. So I am gonna keep one, I'll give Beth one, and we'll give Tara one. You know, sometimes we gotta reap the benefits. And lastly, we headed to a Dollar General, and I was so super excited because we found dishwashing liquid, which is completely full. It does have a big old, you know, like they dropped it on the ground. What is that called? <laughs> it does have a big dent in it, whatever you call it. 
but it's still completely full and a-okay. And then I was so super excited. I was like, ooh, eraser sheets. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely not. They're empty. <laughs> I was so sad when I opened them. I was like, really? <laughs> I was so excited about these two. So was Beth. <laughs> and then we open them and there's nothing in them. That, my friends, is everything Beth and I found at the dumpsters. We have hundreds upon hundreds of dollars worth of shoes behind me. Plus over $100 in candles. Yes. Oh yes. So that being said, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out with Beth and I at the dumpsters and me today in the reveal. I of course will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time guys, happy diving.